hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can create a registration form in PHP and MySQLite before creating a, a registration form using PHP and MySQLite you need to watch my first one video that will help you to design the complete registration form right once you design that then you will be able to use this one method to store the record inside our database so I have used a same project um, that will display on the YouTube like this one to insert the record inside our database using PHP and MySQL so I'm gonna open my code editor inside my code editor I have a same project right and this project available on here I'm gonna show with you here right so first of all you need to change the extension okay this is the HTML I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna use PHP okay this is my PHP project I'm gonna remove also this one okay this is my localhost refer that same thing right um, the next thing I'm gonna uh, create another copy and paste uh, confirm password right do you want to use that you can do that in my case I'm gonna use this one from confirm password and also we need to use the names that will use to get the data from input text field so first one you need to assign the names the first one name is the username you can uh, use another name you can do that right and second one is the email and third name is a password right and fourth one is a c pass okay those are name and also we need to assign the name inside our button btn cell right okay so the next thing you need to create a database basically i have already created database with the name of php tutorials inside that I'm gonna create a table uh, the one first I'm gonna refer that one two three four and five columns we need to create I'm gonna use uh, users this is my table name how many columns you want to create five Click to go and you need to wait a couple of seconds first one is you first I'm gonna use ID you name email um, password uh, I think I need to remove that one two three four I mean three we need to use three columns okay uh, four columns so one two three four and I'm gonna leave that and click to no I also I uh, just a minute I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna remove that guys user and drop yes I'm gonna create a uh, basically table again users four columns okay one two three and four one is ID okay first one is ID unit password no email and fourth one is the password okay type in and virtual virtual oh, just a minute virtual and I'm gonna use also text and 255 characters 255 characters 255 characters right and also we need to use auto increment that will help you to generate the automatically numbers click to save okay so we have successfully made the table with the name of users inside the users table have our four columns id your name pass uh, email and password right let's work on the um, php project so i'm going to create a first connection that php and said that i'm going to use basically i rearrange that or later this time I just want to uh, 
use simple method to store the record inside our database. First, I'm going to call con mysqli underscore connect. We need to pass parameter localhost root and password is null and database name is a php tutorial so right this is our connection if the connection not stable then come into the if body and display the equal message please check your database connection right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a file that will use to get the data from input attribute so i'm going to use process.php do you want to get the data from this input text field on this file you can do that in my case i will create another file process.php right this is a process.php and when user click on the button save btn save, save that will uh, redirect with process.php uh, okay so here is a php file first thing you need to write basic syntax of php and target if is set dollar underscore post i'm going to target the button right this one button and when user click on this button then come into the if body and display the message working right first i'm going to check that so uh, let's check it now that's like that click to create uh, just a minute index.php uh, what happened and I'll go btn cell and I'm gonna use type submit right so now let's check now as you can see guys working right so you just need to change the type okay once you do that then i'm going to close connection then you need to get the data from input text field so i'm going to create a variable user and i'm going to call another uh, method that will help you to basically uh, check the string character on your input text field so the method name is mysqli real escape string right and so that you need to pass two parameters the first one is your connection so we need to get the connection file on here we need to use require once and a connection file name then we will be able to use the connection variable inside this file so I'm going to use talent score post uh, and then we need to use uh, first one variable like this one okay and also we need to use connection right now you need to use same method copy paste and also paste second one is a uml i'm going to use email okay third one is a password fourth one is a c password we need to also change the names email um, password uh, i think c password okay c pass once you get the data from input text field, I'm going to display the data uh, display on the browser or not. First, I'm going to call username, comma, email, comma, password, comma, cpass, right? So, let's check it now. I'm going to use programmer, programmer at gmail.com password is one two three one two three hit enter uh my skill i really skip string okay 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 guys just a minute i need to cut that and remove the comma i need to use first one connection then uh, the dollar underscore post right 
paste that comma Copy that first one is your connection and right so and then save that and let's check it now in the browser as you can see guys we receive the data but I'm gonna go back and for that admin admin at the online it one two three one two three hit enter as you can see we have received data from input text field now the next thing we need to do is we use if empty I'm gonna check empty fields username R email empty email or empty password or empty C password right if anyone field will empty then display the message please fill in the blanks right so that and let's check it now go back and I'm gonna use please fill in the blank white and I'm gonna use one two three and I'm gonna leave the last one please fill in the blank white now the next thing we need to target is the password and confirm password right password not match C pass then come into the if body and display the message password matched right. and let's check it now first of all that and I'm gonna use admin admin at the rate online password one two three one two three four password not matched right this is our second security now the last one we need to use else statement we need to encrypt the password so I'm gonna create a pass variable and call md md file and pass the variable like password md file uh, this is the method that will help you to encrypt the characters if you want to enter the one two three then md5 will encrypt your one two three with large of characters now the next thing we need to call query the query is insert n2 the table name is the users and we need to select the column first one is the u name and email password right let's check it now structure uh, u name email password right then call values parentheses the first one is you need to use single quotation and pass the one variable like username comma email single quotation paste comma third one is your password no I need to use this one pass variable because this is uh, incorrupt that will uh, generate the incorrupt password right then we need to call result variable and call mysql query we need to pass two parameters first one is your connection second one is your query variable then I'm gonna call if is result variable is correct or uh, our query is perfect then come into the body and display the message your record has been saved in the database otherwise in the else statement I'm gonna call echo please check your connection I, I mean check your query right so that and let's check it now in the browser after that I'm gonna use admin admin at the online attitudes dot com one two three one two three hit enter uh, please check your query your name uh, insert into users uh, uh, this is the my table name is users you name email password and you name email password we'll use username 
or variable email password perfect sql result mask like query okay we need to first one is a our connect uh, sql variable second one is your connection let's check it now again uh, i skill i expect one parameter okay my skill i query uh, i think i need to use this one method connection and sql variable so and let's check it now where is the problem uml password videos username users i think everything is perfect but why i seen the error so username email pass i think everything is perfect let's check it now again and if i that first of all that admin admin at the rate online ittips.com password one two three four five six one two three four five six please check your query mm. insert into users users unam uh, unam email password unam email password values uh, username email okay here is a mistake guys we need to use single quotation inside our pass variable okay so that and let's check it now again your record has been saved in the database right let's check it now in the as you can see one admin admin at the wrong line attitudes and this is an incorrect password let's check it now again to store the record again i'm gonna use programmer programmer at gmail.com password one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine your card has been saved in the database right so let's check it now as you can see so this video is very simple and basic way to store the card inside the database in the next video i'm gonna teach with you how you can create a login form using php and mysql so thank you very much for watching See you in the next lecture guys.